Welcome back. We are here looking at the S&P 500. And this is going to be my prediction for next week's uh, trading sessions. So if we recap what happened um, this week, or, or last week, this week, uh, we can see that on Monday, we retested the highs. And uh, we did that several times this week. However, we retested these highs, but then we had an absolute, absolute explosion to the downside. And on Tuesday, we hit support at the 20 uh, exponential moving average. And then we got some really good news about a new drug that was, was effective uh, against the coronavirus. And we saw this market go much higher. On Wednesday, we retested the highs again. On Thursday, we, uh, we were a little bit bearish. And then on Friday, we kind of retested these highs again. So going forward, I over next week, I do expect us to go and retest the uh, 20 exponential moving average again. If that breaks, we will go back and go down to the 50 moving uh, f exponential moving average. And in worst case scenario, we will go all the way down to 3000. Um, I don't expect that to happen. Um, mainly because this is the Fed's market. It has nothing to do with uh, economics anymore. This is purely the Fed injecting liquidity into this market. And that is what keeps this market up and uh, basically increases its value. Um, so as long as the Fed is pumping liquidity into this market and uh, has the policy that it will basically support every single um, company, then and no company is basically going bankrupt, then there's no reason to expect this market to completely crash. We will go higher from here. It's just a matter of, of when. Um, at the moment, we have tested this, uh, these levels three times, no, four times, I'm sorry. One, two, three, and four. Um, and I do expect us to go uh, to, uh, to, um, to um, yes, decrease a little bit on the Monday and Tuesday before retesting again. And if these levels break, if this level breaks, which is the... Uh, which is around uh, 32, um, 32, 32 level, then we will go and we will fill this gap here. And when this gap is basically filled, we will, we will test these highs again, which is around uh, 3,400 level. Um, and after that, we will go much higher. As I said, this has nothing to do with economics. If if this was purely based on the U.S. economy, we would have tested these lows several times, and we will most likely be much lower than we are at the current moment. We would have seen a lot more bankruptcies, uh, which we haven't seen yet. There, as I, there's only one major company that has filed for bankruptcy. That's Hertz, and um, no other company has filed for your bankruptcy at the moment. Uh, but in the long run, or also probably in the med medium run as well, there are huge problems with the United States economy. Probably the biggest problem is the banking sector. So in two weeks' time, the government support programs will stop, and people will no longer receive their government paychecks. Um, we have already seen that people have not been able to uh, pay their loans, pay their rent, and so on. So these people will most likely end up homeless. And we will see uh, the homeless rate in the United States spike significantly in the next coming months. And the institutions that are going to be mostly affected by this are the banks, because Loans will not be paid. Uh, rents will not be paid. So, so rent, they will basically rent uh, will not be getting their income. And at the end, the banks will basically be put under pressure. That's why we basically see uh, banks um, 
putting money aside, tens of billions of dollars, for example, uh, JP Morgan put tens of millions of uh, billions of dollars aside in order to to be prepared what is coming in the next few months. And they would not be, be putting money aside if they uh, didn't know uh, how bad it will become. Um, this is probably also the reason why, for example, Warren Buffett has sold most of his banking stock. He knew what was going to happen. Uh, he also knew what was going to happen with the airline industry, which is going to have a horrible time for probably several years to come. So that is not an industry saying that you should invest in long term. Probably if if some of these uh, companies go to single digits, uh, then yeah, you could take a, a pounds and and basically invest in them. But but they're extremely risky at the moment. And the banks will most likely also will become extremely risky in the near future because so many people will not be able to pay their rent, to pay their loans, and so on. And um, But at the moment, as I said, as long as the Federal Reserve has the, uh, or the S&P 500 has the backing of the Federal Reserve, this market is just going to go higher. Um, it will not uh, decrease significantly until there is a major change in policy of the Fed because this market technically only focuses on liquidity. So major uh, resistance level, we can see one here. It is uh, 3,200, a little bit higher than that. Then we have this gap here, and then we have the highs of 3,400. Uh, support levels, uh, the 20 exponential moving average has been supporting uh, the last few trading session, sessions. Then we have the 50 moving average, and then we have major uh, support at 3,000. If we were to break down 3,000, then we would go much lower from here. So if we look at the technical indicators, we can see that the uh, RSI is over bought at this moment, indicating that we will most likely go lower. We are uh, at the moment at uh, 70, uh, 76, almost 77, which is uh, significantly over bought. We can see that uh, uh, MACD is about to break the signal line, indicating that we will go lower. And the Bollinger Band, as we said uh, in uh, last week's video, when we uh, previously have seen this market hit the Bollinger Band uh, top or the low, then we have a major shift. We saw it here, we had a major shift, we saw it here, we had a major shift, and now we're just waiting for a major shift. So we will most likely go lower. Uh, probably we will see something, uh, the same pattern as we see here probably a higher low. Um, so the 50 moving average is going to go this way and then we'll probably hit the 50 moving average and then go higher. That's just a guess. We can see the uh, stochastic is about to go lower. Uh, it doesn't stay up for a long time. It tends to go down and go up and it's rarely rare that it basically stays up for a very long time. So, yeah, we will most likely go lower from here and then we will retest these highs again. And if that breaks, we will uh, fill this gap. And when that gap is filled, we will go and test the highs. And after that, we will go much higher. So, hope you find this uh, video hel uh, helpful. If you're welcome to subscribe to uh, our channel and click the like button and uh, hit the bell button in order to see when our next video is going to be released. Uh, I'll put a video of the S&P 500 out on Wednesday again. Uh, thank you very much and good luck.